Hello friends, welcome to Unlike Certain Episode in our Corridor Effects series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this glow text effect or the neon effect in Corridor. Right? Alright, without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go over to File and click on New. Right? I'm using the Corridor 2024. So I'm just going to set this, um, the name, I'm just going to give it glow like this rgb and um, i'm going to be using 6.4 by 3.6 which is the same thing as in pixel 1920 by 1080 so i'm just going to be using 6.4 by 3.6 resolution 300 and click ok like this so when you click enter this is what it comes up with so come over here and double click on the rectangle to have um, a rectangle here come over here and give it a black color like this make sure you remove the outline from this part here so i'm just going to zoom to page like this f4 or function f4 as the case may be for you right so what i want to go and do next is go back to my text tool and i'm just going to type glow like this right you're not seeing it because the text is black so go over to your pick tool and um, come over here and give it a white color as you can see now so I'm just going to quickly go over to my text and I'm going to select the text I'm going to use for this. Um, okay, let me use this. Right, so I'm just going to make it bigger. You can do that here or by coming here to increase the size, let's say like 70. And uh, when I'm okay with this size, I can just go and press P on my keyboard to centralize it to the middle of the page. Now this process is very, very important, right? So um, even though you type yours here, you can always click on it and press P on your keyboard to centralize it to the center of your page. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is I'm um, going to make several copies of this. But before I do that, I'm going to press Ctrl C and Ctrl V, copy and paste. And I'm just going to move this outside here, right? Now I'm going to come back to this one here and I'm going to make several copies of this. So what I'm going to do with this is Ctrl C and Ctrl V again. Now I'm going to effect and I'm going to blow and Gaussian blow. So with this first one, I'm going to apply a radius of 5%. Now follow me, this is very, very important. Now when you do this, the next thing you want to do is make another duplicate copy of this one that you have the blow added to it. Ctrl C and Ctrl V, but this time you're going to change the radius to 10, like this, and um, Ctrl C and Ctrl V again. Increase the radius to 20, click enter, and for the last time, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, the last one you want to make this one 25, right? Great. So um, I can easily just uh, Close this one back so we have uh, enough room to walk in. So with this done, the next thing you want to do is um, go over to your rectangle tool and uh, before you go over to your rectangle tool, click on this one, right? Right click on it and um, click on order and click on to front of page, right? So it's above every other thing. So what you need to do with this one is just press P on your keyboard. You see why it's very, very good for you to actually centralize this. Now, so when you have this, you have your nice glow effect, but it doesn't just stop here. So you can go for that, go over to your rectangle to click on it. And this time we're going to draw a rectangle manually. So drag from node to node like this. I'm just going to give it a color. I'm going to give it, um, let's see. I'm going to give it this color. Right, you can see it has outline. Right, don't worry, um, the text has just disappeared, but then it's going to come back. So, click on this and remove the outline like this. Right, go over to your um, interactive field, which is the gradient to click on it. And with it selected, what you need to do is just uh, drag the gradient from this part to this part here. Right, so when you're done. Click on this part here and simply come over to the color and select this magenta. So you have it going from blue. You can adjust it well to sit well. You can bring it to this part. Just make sure that you have, um, you can also draw your gradients from this point here. If you want to have a straight line, a gradient and a straight line, make sure you're holding down the shift key. 
on a straight line like this but if you don't want a straight line you can feel free to draw a free form um, gradient line like this without holding down anything right so um, whichever way works for you but I'm going to do mine straight form like this and um, yes just like that so when you do that um, with the rectangle selected go over to your um, pick tool and um, select the transparency tool that's the next thing to do and um, set this to of course you guessed right set it to screen right so as you can see now you have your nice looking glow effect inside of now you can um, be playful with this by changing this to overlay and uh, let's see you can see now so you can either use this but most times i prefer to use this so when you use this as an overlay you can easily um, this is what we created so as an overlay this is how it looks like right but most times you can um, go to transparency too and also use it here in screen so easy peasy right so the good thing about this is let me bring it back to overlay like this and um, i can also change the gradient so instead of using the blue i can use something else maybe i use the red you can see how fast that changes right so you can use any color of your choice just uh be playful about it, it this is a um very very good way to create glow effect in Corel Draw. All right, so you can do this with any text, any of your text, and um, you would arrive at this. So I'm just going to finish it up by typing uh, effect in Corel Draw. You're not seeing it because it's in black. Always oh, change this, and voila. So I'm going to change this font here to this and uh, make it smaller click on your shape tool and uh, bring this outside like this and voila there you go so even if i don't want it this way i can easily change it the other way around and uh, you're good to go this is how you create a nice glow effect inside of coral draw all right guys i'll see you in the next video just above this if you have not subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you miss any of my notifications after this time out love you all